Hey guys, happy October 1st. This is insane. I do not know how that crept up on us so fast, but here we go, buckle up. It is the fall and holiday season. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're here. So what I wanted to do this month is something a little different that I hope to continue as the months go on, and that is sharing my goals with you guys. And um, I'm very goal-oriented and structured personality that, that um, is exciting for me and motivating. It is not stressful and overwhelming. Um, specifically for me, setting goals gives me the freedom to work on one area instead of having a laundry list of different things that I'm hoping to accomplish. Uh, and just knowing that if there's something else that I wanna get done or I wanna work on, that can come in the next month or the next month. But doing habit training with our kids this year has really encouraged me to just focus on doing something well before I add anything else to my list. And so while I'm choosing habits for the kids that I definitely have already um, developed on my own, like cleanliness or obedience and things like that, um, I'm wanting to kind of take the same method and apply it to my own life. So focusing on four or five weeks instead of um, just a long-term goal. So what I have today are just four areas of focus that I'm gonna be working on in the month of October. And then next month, I'll share kind of my November goals with you, as well as give you an update on how October goals went. And this will be really personal because I'll share with you kind of what I'm, my parenting journey and areas that I feel like I'm weaker in and that I need to work on. So I went to a session with Sarah McKenzie at the homeschooling convention a couple of years ago, and I believe that this is also in her book, Teaching From Rest. Um, she shared that one of her friends had set a goal to um, just, I think it was greet each of her kids eagerly or greet them with a smile every morning and that those very simple goals seemed silly but by focusing on that one area it actually changed a lot in her homeschool and in her day and that is when I really started thinking about having specific homeschool related goals month to month and over time that spilled over into all of my life as a parent and as a wife and as a homemaker just focusing on one area at a time now the thing about this and the thing about homeschooling that's carried on into my personal life is that i'm constantly saying we don't just have one school year um, things that i'm working on with my kids i'm not focused on finishing by may or june because i know that i have god willing until they're 18 years old academically, you know, speaking to work on these things with them. And so I'm not living under the pressure of one calendar year with them. But the same is true for ourselves as parents and as spouses and just as people in general that we are not, um, this is not a short race. We have a lifetime to develop good habits and to do things well. And so Long story short, um, that's how this all came into play. If I am worried about focusing on 15 goals at once, I'll get overwhelmed, I'll burn out, and I will drop 12 of them. But if I'm able to focus on one area at a time, then I feel a confidence in each area before I move on to something else and it becomes a habit. So I'm gonna share four goals for October. My family goal, my academic or homeschool goal, my parenting goal, and my personal goal. So these, and while I know that some of you may say I'm putting too much pressure on myself, again, this is just something that I choose to focus on because one, I'm goal oriented, and also if I don't just pick one thing, then I will put too much pressure and too many expectations on myself. So this gives me the freedom to just focus on one or two areas versus, you know, just being a great parent all around or something like that. So just being able to focus on something that I'm aware of needs a little bit of effort. So my family goal for the month of October is that, and this is a goal that um, my husband and I have talked about doing with our kids, is just being more consistent with our family breakfasts. Um, when he worked for his old company, he did not leave our house until almost nine o'clock in the morning, some days, most days, toward the end there. And so he was really good at helping me get breakfast on the table, and then we had plenty of time to tidy up from breakfast. Since he's made the switch to his father's business in February, uh, I have just been a grab some toast and meet me at the table kind of mom. And I really don't want that. I want to start strong and I really want the kids to pitch in and helping tidy up and helping prepare breakfast and things like that. So our family goal for the month of October is just 
do breakfast well. <laughs> as silly as that sounds, we're going to put our focus on sitting together at breakfast and tidying up together at breakfast. My homeschool goal this month is balance and consistency. So I know that I talked in my video about our school schedule this year that I was bringing in the loop schedule and that has been okay. It hasn't been great to be honest. That has been something that for my kids has been great, but for me has not been great. I'm not a um, very fluid personality. I really like structure. Um, and so to be honest with you, the loop schedule has been a little difficult as far as me just giving myself too much flexibility with like, oh, well, we'll get to that tomorrow kind of thing. And so there's a few things that we haven't really put a lot of focus on. So for the month of October, it's just gonna be about working with the kids and finding those things that we can plug into our schedule and the things that really just are taking up time that we don't want to be taken up and just focusing on the areas, kind of like finding a blend between last year's schedule and this year's schedule and just finding the things that really um, they want to be doing and I want to be doing and just kind of finding a good balance there. As far as my parenting goal goes, this is kind of another broad goal, but it is just to have a lighter presence. I think that after I had our fourth child, she was a very loud, fussy, she is just a loud girl. She is fun, she's happy, but she is loud. And so I definitely had a lot of anxiety creep in about just um, having that extra loud noise and even especially in public. Um, She's just super, super loud. I don't know what to say. Anybody who has a child like that, you know where I'm coming from. It's caused me to kind of be a little tense in all areas of my life. And like I've said a million times already in this video, I really like structure and routine. And so while I'm not angry or yelling at my kids often, I'm not, I definitely don't have a light presence around them. It's a very heavy presence, if that makes sense. I don't want my kids to feel like they don't have the freedom to be creative or to move off task without me kind of pushing us right back on task. Um, but, but just a mixture of that anxiety that's kind of crept in as well as um, my natural like structured personality. I feel like I'm, I'm not slowing down much with them and I really want to bring that back because that's something that I just really loved was having that time to just get off task and to enjoy them as my children and not as my students if that makes any sense. So just for me to work on being more soft spoken with them when we're off task and just having an all around lighter presence. So. If you think of it, pray for me in that area. If you guys struggle with this too, leave it in the comments below. I would like to pray for you as well because I think that that may be a very um, a natural temptation for us as moms to just kind of snap everyone back into place instead of being um, more gentle where we need to have some gentleness. And then my personal goal, this one's really easy. Since I stopped nursing Annabeth in June, um, I have been able to get up earlier like I used to love. So for years I woke up at 4.30. Right now I'm waking up at 5. When I was nursing her, it was somewhere between 5.30 and 6, just depending on how our sleep went the night before. Um, but my personal goal is to, um, which I have been doing well at getting consistently getting up at or before 5 a.m. But what I'm wanting to do is to have all of my work done by 6. So. Um, I don't wake up and work out first thing and I also don't wake up and have a Bible study first thing. To be honest with you, what I do is I make coffee and then that five to six hour is when I really try to focus on um, anything that I have to do as far as school prep or us born or YouTube. It's really kind of like my office hour. Um, everything that I need to do on the computer or in our school room or things like that. What happens is I kind of um, run over past six and I kind of push I start pushing everything off right away So my workout becomes later so then breakfast becomes later and then school becomes later and before you know it my not um, <laughs> Me not focusing on being done by six whether I'm done or not Kind of pushes our whole day off a little bit and my kids are usually up around 630 anyway So if I'm still working and they're coming out of their rooms, then we're all kind of starting in a very lax um, mood and that's not what I want. I mean, I do want everyone to feel relaxed, but I just don't want um, us to be pushing things off immediately first thing. So, so that's my personal goal is to just make sure that 
um, I'm done by six. So if I don't get started until 5.15, then I've lost 15 minutes. I'm not going to go until 6.15. So just to have that accountability to stop by six and that, um, that what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I don't know. Just to make sure that I'm, that I'm done by six basically is it. Just to put my all into it and be done by 6 a.m. Um, so that we can stay on task. So those are my goals. If you guys set goals for yourselves, let me know in the comments below. I would be interested to know what some of the things are that you're working on. Like I said, my things are family, academic, personal, and parenting, but I used to just set like a general goal for the month of July or a general goal for the month of May, not necessarily homeschool or personal or anything like that. Um, and I am sure that when I share in November, I will have dropped the ball in a couple of these areas. But again, this is not about me accomplishing anything by the end of the month, but it is just giving me the freedom to focus my attention and my efforts on certain areas instead of trying to be all things at all times. So anyway, that is what I have going on this month. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have going on. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.